We've been talking through this video series a bit about comparing DTF printing to other types of apparel decoration. Uh, we've compared it to the, the white laser toner systems. We've compared it to uh, the vinyl printers and vinyl cutters. So either just straight heat applied vinyl or the printed heat applied vinyl that you would, uh, you would press on after it's been printed. We've compared it to sublimation. And so now we're gonna talk about kind of the granddaddy of them all, which is screen printing. And screen printing has been around a lot longer than a lot of these other decoration methods. In fact, than all of these decoration methods, uh, it is something that is a bit more of a manual process. It is not digital in the sense of us creating digital content for each t-shirt uh, individually. It's literally about taking and creating your artwork in a way that you can break it down into a finite number of colors making screens from those, then literally printing each shirt one color at a time as you go around and press. So for the, the sake of the argument and the discussion here, we're going to talk, kind of address what most of the screen printers that we would be dealing with would have, which is a four or six color, maybe an eight color uh, manual press. They might have a small automatic press, but we're going to keep it kind of limited to the more of the the, the t-shirt printers who do 100, 200, 300 pieces at a time. Not somebody who's going to take a job and do 6,000, five or 6,000 shirts, one or two colors on a big automatic press. So let's, let's go to that. Let's, let's take an example of a, a four color job. So on a DTF, as we've seen, and if you've looked at any of the videos of the DTF actually being run, number of colors really doesn't matter. It's really just about the, the size of the media that we're printing. But let's say we do a four color job on DTF, average size full front print. We're gonna print on our, on our two head machine. Uh, the H2, we're going to we're going to have, you know, maybe going to get 90 to 100 of those transfers an hour. And that's as soon as the artwork's done. In fairness, artwork is artwork. We have to do the artwork first, no matter what any of these decoration methods we're talking about. So, but the artwork is done. At that point, what happens when we're doing DTF? We load it into the rip, and we send it to the system, and we print, and it runs through the system like say roughly 90 to 100 transfers an hour come out of the back end of the system. When you're screen printing, what happens is we number one have to have broken it into finite number of colors. Most people are gonna be printing just doing solid spot colors. They're not gonna be doing uh, false process or process printing. There are some really good screen printers out there that can do it, but for the most part, most designs are gonna be broken into three, four, five colors and you're gonna burn screens for each of those. But before you do go to burn the screens, what you have to do is take your artwork, separate it out, and send those separations out to a printer, which will create a film positive, which is then gonna be used to, to burn or expose a screen, which will represent that color. So you print your film positive, which is a black on a clear transparency, right? Which is then gonna be put in on top of a screen, which has been cleaned out and is gonna be coated with a reactive material, which is going to be photosensitive. We re expose that screen, it can take anywhere from 20 minutes to 45 minutes in the exposure unit. It's going to come out, we're going to clean it out to get any of the, the residual out from the areas that were blocked by the screen. Then we're going to look for pinholes, make sure there aren't any pinholes that we would have to tape off. Once that's done, we're going to now put the screens onto the press and we're going to align them so that they register to one another as we progress through the colors. So in the case of a four color job, we're going to have to mount four screens onto the press, register them one, in, one after another to the, to the proper spot that the colors are printing into the right spots. And I haven't even discussed the fact that you actually have to trap colors behind one another or we might have to do a flash base between them. We're just going to look at doing four solid colors. And then, and only then, can you start to print. And if it's a four color job, that means each shirt is going to have to be addressed four times, and then it's going to have to be taken off and put into a belt dryer to dry. It's a lot of work. I don't know about you. I got exhausted just saying it. I can imagine you probably got exhausted listening to it. And if you are a screen printer, you're probably right now just shaking your head up and down saying, yeah, that's what it's kind of about. Once we're done printing the shirts, there's still more work to be done. Got to clean the, the ink out of the screens and then determine whether we're going to reclaim the screen or whether we're going to save the screen. If we're going to reclaim the screen, we're going to have to clean it completely out. Most people use a pressure washer to blow it out, to reclaim the screen, let it dry and set it up. 
or once you clean the screen out and get the ink out of it, you're going to leave that, clean that up, put it on a shelf and inventory it in case the customer comes back, which can, again, that's going to, there's going to be associated costs with that because now you have a framed screen that's just sitting there that can only be used for that job for that customer. So DTF, we set it up in our graphics software, just like we would for printing for, for screen printing, but then we load it into a RIP, we print it straight to a transfer, and when it's done, we pull them out and we're gonna press them, roughly 10 to 15 seconds total press time, and they're done. If you're worried about having to do reorders for the customer, do a 10% overage, you have them sitting there, and if, you, if that's not enough, the customer comes back and wants another reorder, you pull the job back up, you print it, and you go. So DTF is going to eliminate the need for a printer to do tran your, your transparencies with, the exposure unit. It's going to eliminate all the screens that you're going to need. As you can see in the vit pictures we have here, screens take up space, and they do have a, an expense associated with them. We don't have the, the heavy-duty cleanup after the fact. When I run my DTF, I can run... 10 different jobs back to back with each other, even intermingled with each other, and I don't have any associated cleanup with each one of those jobs. I have the start up and the finish at the end of the day with the printer, that's it. If I'm doing print screen printing, I have to finish a job, take all the screens off, put the next set of screens on the machine, do the re-registration, and what most people do is at the end of the day, they'll take and they'll clean all their screens out at that point for the associated jobs that they did. This is a lot of work. Not saying that screen printing isn't valid, it's not going to be here for a long time, it doesn't have applications. However, more and more and more companies that are dealing in moderate size runs with multiple colors are looking to a process like DTF. In fact, a lot of screen printers actually screen print transfers. This is going to eliminate all that whole process that we just described for screen printing t-shirts can also be done to films very much like the PET films that we use in DTF and using a powder much like we do in the DTF process. Usually there's a reply applied by hand, beaten uh, to shake off any extra powder, and then they're run through a belt dryer set up so that they can, again, be transferred on. All of that stuff can be done with a DTF printer without all the added expense, added space. Uh, it's, it's not uncommon that we see people coming in here who are getting rid of their four, their six, their eight color manual presses or their small automatic presses getting rid of their exposure unit, getting rid of their flash carry units, getting rid of their belt dryers, and they're literally replacing it in a, in a sixth of the space or a tenth of the space with a DTF printer, a couple of heat presses, and that's it, and they're ready to go. So as you can see, they, they do have their niches, but more and more companies, especially companies that aren't exclusively screen printers, and very few companies are just screen printers. A lot of companies may be doing embroideries, doing screen printing, doing other types of things with, with their vinyl cutters and things like that. So they're more of a, a, a graphics fulfillment house than they are specifically a screen printer. They have screen printing equipment out of a necessity. And they're saying, hey, I can reduce down my, my shop by 500, 600 square feet, saves me on rent space. Uh, I, I don't have to have the associated chemicals that are around to go with it. I don't have all the inks I have to have to, to be around with it. I don't have to store screens for my customers, on and on and on. They get those really big jobs that are 2,000 shirts, one color, guess what? There's still contract screen printers that they can send those out to and they continue to, to get the low-hanging fruit, the, the smaller jobs, you know, even up to a couple hundred pieces, several hundred pieces even, full color. You can, you can change the sizes, modify the sizes, no extra charges for your customers that way. So DTF is really starting to erode away at the small to moderate size screen printing setups, at just as it's starting to erode away to the really large uh, direct to garment marketplaces. So, this is a good comparison. Screen printing is not going away, guys. Just like everybody said that DTG printing was going to kill screen printing 15, 16 years ago, it's not. It has taken away part of it, but it's taken away the spots that should be taken away of, allowing screen printing to concentrate where its strengths are. And the same thing with this. We're going to let screen printing focus on doing really large runs, smaller numbers of colors, and do DTF for that large, large amount of, of prints that may only be a couple hundred at a time and may be variable data, variable sizes. So there you go. You have it now. DTG, I mean DTF printing versus screen printing.